Episode 57 The Other Side of the Story Amanpreet stood by the window of the 16th floor and looked at the breathtaking view of the city spread out for miles together the shining bright lights giving the stars a run for their money She was trying to call Deepen but his phone was switched off Whenever Deepen would get too stressed out he would shut off his cell phone and sit quietly for a few hours by the canal Once he would normalize he would drive back home Deepen and Amanpreet ran a successful tours and travel company They were celebrating tonight its 9th anniversary and also the company's listing on the NSE When Aman first met Deepen she knew that things were not all right with him There were rumors that he had gone bonkers and he had lost it also that he was just back from the rehab Deepen was actually very quiet and avoided the company of strangers Deepen was attracted to Amanpreet because she was totally non-judgmental. She would never ask personal questions, give him space, and make the situation so normal that Deepen would visibly relax. One day Deepen confessed that he did have some psychological issues related to his father Mandeep Singh, who unfortunately had committed suicide. Deepen was then brought up by his loving grandparents. Aman always wondered why Deepen never talked about his mother. There were times when Deepen would relapse into his shell and refuse to talk to anyone. His counselor had told Aman to leave Deepen alone at such times and give him time to gather himself. There were many things that triggered off such a response from the pain. A news item about a middle-aged man committing suicide, someone mentioning Mandeep's name, a chance sighting of his dad's photograph, or someone accidentally asking him about his dad. But but what had gone wrong today? None of these trigger points had happened. At the party all their hotel and travel partners had been invited plus the usual galaxy of press media social media influencers socialites and so on when a lady a social media influencer approached the pain suddenly he lost control the glass fell from his hands with a loud crash and the pain made a quick exit from the banquet hall Amanpreet immediately gave him antidepressant pills. He looked shocked and totally shattered. Aman, Aman main bahar nahi aaunga ab. You 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 take care of the party. If if someone asks to uh, answer whatever you want to. I'll I'll just be here. Mujhe akela chhod do. Leave me alone please. Aman was very worried. The party was in full swing. The drinks, food and the guzzles were all going on wonderfully well. There was fun, laughter and happiness all over. Haman wondered what could have happened. Um e- excuse me. Ah, uh, you are Aman Preet, right? Aman turned around to look at a very beautiful and elegant lady standing in front of her. She didn't look old. but she was definitely in her late 50s aman couldn't recollect her name because she had met many people at the party tonight for the first time uh is is the pain uh, i i mean your husband all right oh, oh oh yes thank you he's okay it's just that he got exhausted <laughs> we we've had a long day you know celebrating at the office and now the party <laughs> Uh-huh. Aha. <laughs> I doubt if he took sick because of that Aman. I guess he saw me and and just totally lost it. You 
why would he react like that on seeing you i don't think we've ever met before have we huh, i'm i'm sorry but really i don't even remember your name ma'am the lady smiled and moved towards the window <laughs> aman if i had known that this was a party thrown by the pain i would have never come I am a social media influencer and get invited to at least 3 parties like these every week. When my agent called up to say that there was an invitation from the travel companion, I agreed to come. When I saw the pain, I was totally shocked myself. <laughs> But I guess life has thrown me out to the wolves so many times that I have learned to tackle situations much better. poor the pain could never step out of bg's protective circle so he still cracks down uh, the pain bg uh, how how do you know them uh, i'm sorry but i i i didn't recognize you <laughs> really aman <laughs> i thought by now you had figured out that i'm paramjeet the pain's mother for 2 seconds aman actually thought that the world had come to a standstill she had never ever heard of the pain's mother being spoken about in the family initially when she tried to ask everyone snubbed her she had only been able to gather that his mother had left the family and gone away aman looked closely at the lady the pain did have his mother's features His handsome face had his mother's stamp on him. The long nose, the soft brown eyes, and even the tall, shapely figure. Oh God. Ma'am, uh, no, no, sorry. I I I mean mom. I I didn't know about you. I'm sorry. No one ever told me your name even. <laughs> That's okay, Aman. Perfectly fine. I expected this you see. The pain stopped talking to me when he was just 6. And his family poisoned his mind against me so much that he hated me. I waited patiently for him to grow up so that I could explain my point of view. But tab tak bahut zyada zehar phail chuka tha uske mann mein. You know he refused to see me or even talk to me. You can't imagine Aman how desperate I was to tell my side of the story. But I could never do that. But today when I saw you, I thought that I can at least tell someone my side of the story. Bas bas ek baar ek baar Aman sun lo mujhe. then then if you do want to shun me but i won't ever interfere again aman i was just 18 when i was married off to mandeep my family was overjoyed to marry me in such a rich family but i didn't want to marry him mandeep was very conservative traditional and and so patriarchal by nature he wouldn't let me study in a college पढ़ाई क्यों करनी है वॉज हिज स्टेटमेंट आई वॉज इंट अलाउड टू हैव एनी फ्रेंड्स आई कुड गो आउट एनी वे आई लिव इन अ जेल रियली येस वी हैड लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड क्लोथ बट इज दैट ऑल वन नीड्स टू सर्वाइव इन दिस वर्ल्ड आई आई बिगैन टू डिस्पेयर इन द सेकेंड ईयर ऑफ माई मैरिज द पेन वॉज बॉर्न He was very dear to me of course but I couldn't decide anything for my own son his clothes his feeding times his toys everything was decided by BG or Papa ji when the pain turned 3 and we admitted him to a kindergarten school i started to drop him and pick him up it was there that i met Iqbal He was the owner of the school. He saw how badly I was trapped in that useless marriage. 
Generally, we would go to a chai ka lari opposite the school and talk. For me, Iqbal had come as a breath of fresh air. The first person in so many years with whom I could talk. Wo bhi <laughs> ekdam dil khol ke. <laughs> Lekin, <laughs> one day BG saw us. And you can imagine all hell broke loose. I thought that Mandeep will hit me the most. But can you believe it, Aman? It was my father-in-law who beat me up black and blue. Mandeep didn't say a single word. Deepen kept on crying and hugging me and shouting to his grandfather that Mami ko mat maro, mat maro. But kaun tha uski sunne wala? From that day onwards, Mandeep never spoke a word to me. He would just drink and drink and drink and, and he would just collapse on the sofa every night. You can't even imagine my condition, Aman. <laughs> do you know what is hell raised to do? I guess I was in that state. My own family disowned me. My father even told me that he was ashamed of having a daughter like me. Bas... फिर एक दिन आई कुड बेर इट एनी मो एंड आई जस्ट रैन अवे आई हैड नो वे टू गो सो आई रीच इकबाल हाउस ही इमीजिएटली टुक मी टू द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड एंड सीक्रेटली इनफॉर्म्ड अ फ्यू रिपोर्टर्स दे ऑल केम एंड फोटोग्राफ मी एंड इंटरव्यूड मी इन द पुलिस स्टेशन Next day when the news got printed the Bagga family had to run for cover my affair with Iqbal was put aside but the domestic violence incurred on me took center stage i was sent to the women's home i began to do odd jobs and somehow survived it was at this point that an ad agency approached me I signed a contract with them and bus fear my life changed forever Mandeep couldn't digest my success and his failure so one day he hung himself from the ceiling fan poor Deepen got up in the morning to see this sight since then i guess he developed these psychological issues I went so very often to his school to meet him but I was told that my son doesn't want to see me Gradually along with being a model I also became a social media influencer When Ira invited me today I had no idea that I was coming to influence my my very own son's party Finally when Param stopped speaking the horizon had begun to turn a dusty gray slowly shedding the blackness of the night the guests had all left the hotel staff was cleaning up aman brought a glass of water for param uh auntie fir uh, i mean uh, did you marry ikbal uncle fir <laughs> are nahi re <laughs> no aman have you have you heard the tagline men will be men <laughs> ikbal thought he had lost control on me so one fine day he just walked out <laughs> anyways aman thank you very much beta for at least listening to me after 25 years i could tell my side of the story to someone I have no regrets about my actions. I was suffocating in that house in that marriage and I I had to look out for myself. Yes. I I do feel very sad that my son thinks me to be responsible for his father's suicide. But I'm an, I I I cannot keep everyone happy. Nor do I want to. I'm happy the way I am. living on my own terms and conditions <laughs> anyways chalo beta thank you very much i will leave now param jeet left 
to become a non-existent person for the family to be labeled as characterless and to be the object of their hatred forever aman was only glad of one thing at least she knew the other side of the story